Hello, my name is Andy Piper, and I love aromatics. I do. What, I mean, what? I don't know what else to say, but I do. I really love aromatics. I've been in the whole cigar, or excuse me, pipe uh, hobby for maybe six or seven months, or six or seven weeks now. And I have tried a lot of different tobaccos, both from stuff that I've bought to try, but also stuff that other people have given me to try. And I've learned something over the course of that seven weeks. I love aromatics. Uh, right now I'm smoking my um, Corn Cob Missouri Meerschaum Diplomat with some Sleepy Hollow from Strauss Tobacconist in it. This Sleepy Hollow was a gift from the Bean Piper. And boy, has it been a wonderful gift. I really enjoy this stuff. When I started getting into pipes, I did a lot of research online because I wanted to see, you know, how to do it, what I should be looking at. And for some people, there's this concept and idea that if you smoke aromatics, you're not a real pipe smoker. Well, that causes a problem for me because I love aromatics. And so if I'm not a real pipe smoker, then this isn't real. And what I'm doing right now is fake. It's not real smoke. It's not real taste that I'm getting in my mouth. Not flavors of pumpkin spice and flavors of vanilla and uh, like a caramel flavor. None of that is real. And why is it not real? It's not real because I love aromatics. So the other aromatics that I've tried you know, like Lane 1Q, good vanilla aromatic, it's not real either. That means that's not a real vanilla flavor. Or what about Cornel, Cornel and Deal King Cake? A good like chocolatey raisin, chocolatey plum, that's not real either. Or this Sleepy Hollow, it's not real. Or some other aromatics that I had that I didn't like. I'm kind of glad those aren't real. I'm not a big cherry fan, and uh, one of them tasted like cherry chapstick. But not just like the flavor of it, but like I was chewing it up. I'm kind of glad that one wasn't real. What about the Elaine's Dream, the Irish Cream? I just got that one yesterday. Uh, from I got that one from the Peg Leg Piper. That means he really didn't give it to me, because it's not real. So, I guess when I say that I'm Danny Piper and I love aromatics, what I'm really saying is I'm the indie fake piper. And I like smoking fake pipes and not real tobacco. I have a problem. Now I know that's not true. But there is this small portion of people out there that act like if you smoke anything that has any kind of flavoring put on it, it's not real. That you're really not smoking a pipe. You're you're just a wannabe. And you know that's fine. That's that's their decision. But I'm here to tell you this. 
smoke what you like. It's that simple. It's your hobby, it's your pipe, it's your money, your tobacco, smoke what you like. Now, does that mean you should just stop with one flavor, one tobacco, and never try anything else? I mean, you can if you want, but then you are missing out on some good stuff. I would suggest keep trying the other stuff. Uh, I still am trying different Latakia blends, vapor blends, um, the Perique or the Burley. I'm not sure which one is not settling well with me. Trying some Burley blends. I still want to try those blends, and I still do enjoy smoking them sometimes. But I really love aromatics. Now, I've had Esoterica Dunbar. I've had Esoterica and Soda Bed. I had a little Penzance. Uh, one of my favorite tobaccos is still Early Morning Pipe. And that's okay. Like, those are great things. But I really love aromatics, and that's okay too. Smoke what you like, it's your hobby. It's your money. Don't let anybody else out there tell you how you should or shouldn't do it. You decide what it means to you, what you want to smoke. Um, aromatics are sweet to me. I like the sweet, kind of mild, mellow flavor in a pipe. If I want something more natural that's a little stronger, I go to a cigar. Um, so it's really up to you. And that's the beauty of all this. It's your choice. It's okay to like both. It's okay not to like aromatics. It's okay to like only aromatics. Just don't turn your nose up to somebody who differs from you, in your opinion, on pipe tobaccos. Don't turn your nose up when somebody offers to allow you to try something. Yesterday, the Bean Piper, excuse me, the um, Peg Leg Piper offered me some plum pudding. Seattle Pipe Club plum, plum pudding, I tried it. I don't know that it was for me. It wasn't, you know, it was okay. But it wasn't like, oh man, I gotta go out and buy some of this now. And that's okay too, because I tried it. It's like food. A lot of us like cheeseburgers, a lot of us like pizza. But there's a lot of different flu foods out there you need to try. I was on a mission trip one time. I'll end with this story. I was on a mission trip one time in Mexico. And the missionary that we were with brought to the table, he, got, he ordered an appetizer. And he brought to the table this bowl. And in this bowl was, ready? Crickets. And these crickets had been cooked or sauteed up in a chili powder. And he said, what you do is you take a tortilla, you put some guac on it, right? And you take that tortilla and you put it upside down in those crickets. And then you take it, fold it in half, and eat it like a taco. Crickets. So, I did it. And you know what I found out? Crickets cooked in a chili powder don't have a lot of flavor to them. <laughs> I mostly taste the guacamole, the shell that they're in, the chili powder that the crickets were cooked in. That's mostly what I tasted. It was okay. I mean, it wasn't like my favorite food I've ever eaten in Mexico, but it was okay. But pipe smoking is the same way. Try new things. You may enjoy them, but stick to the stuff you love as well. You know, you like aromatics like I do, stick to them, but just be willing to try some new things. But then also, don't judge others because they think one way or another about their pipe tobacco. Anyway, that's just a thought for you guys, something I'm learning real early in my beginner, pipe, uh, beginner career as a pipe smoker, career like I'm getting paid. Uh, so I hope that helps you guys out some. I know there's a lot of people that subscribe to this thought. A lot of the YTPC is going to be in this camp, I think, because we just are enjoying each other's company, enjoying being around each other and pipe smoking. So 
Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my last video that I did about the Midwest Pipe Meetup. I don't know what else to call it right now. November 18th at Smoker's Choice in Brownsburg, Indiana. Hope to see you guys there. Again, this is the Indie, Indie Piper. The real Indie Piper. Uh, remember, drive your cars fast. Smoke your pipe slow. We'll see you guys next time.